The style stakes just got really high. In today's Fashion Flash, we're diving into fashion crime, starting with the most recent misfortune. Lupita Nyong'o's Calvin Klein Oscar gown went missing last week. In case you forgot, Lupita wore that unbelievable pearl encrusted gown designed by Francisco Costa, and the dress was covered with 6,000 white Aquaya pearls, and Fortune estimated the value of the pearls alone to be $150,000. Yeah, that's without the other materials, or of course, the craftsmanship. I mean, you know that dress took forever to construct. So, dun dun dun, the dress went missing last Wednesday from Lupita's hotel room at the London West Hollywood. Yeah, but this isn't the first high-profile fashion felony. Let's take a look at some of the other crazy crimes that made headlines. All right, first up, who can forget the bling ring? From 2008 to 2009, six teenagers broke into the homes of Miranda Kerr, Paris Hilton, Rachel Bilson, and more, and stole over $3 million worth of goods. The story was eventually made into a film by Sofia Coppola, starring Emma Watson. Mark Jacobs suffered a major burglary. In 2011, all 46 pieces from his spring-summer 2012 collection went missing while they were being transported from Paris to London for press day. Mark took to Twitter in hopes of recovering the $65,000 in stolen clothes, tweeting, see any chic truck drivers cruising around Europe dressed in hashtag SS12 collection? Now they always say never leave valuables visible in your card. Julianne Huff clearly didn't get the memo. In 2013, while dating Ryan Seacrest, she left $100,000 worth of jewels in her car, which got broken into, shocker. Then there were the Cannes crimes of 2013. Two jewelry thefts took place at the Cannes Film Festival. A necklace worth 2.6 million was stolen from from the Degrees Agano 20th anniversary party, and then Chopard lost 1.4 million in gems worn by celebrities like Cara Delevingne. The jewels were in the safe at a hotel, and the whole safe was removed from the wall. But that's nothing compared to the Harry Winston heist. In 2008, four men went into the Harry Winston store in Paris armed with a gun and a grenade. No one got hurt except Harry Winston, who lost $105 million in jewels. Talk about a style citation. You know, hopefully everyone who did the deed paid time for the crime. Well, we know the bling ring did. Mm -hmm.